Hi guys, welcome. My name is Denver and I'm here with Denver's Car Reviews. Today we're doing the 2020 Lexus RX 350. We're gonna go through a walk around of all the new features and then get into everything that makes this such a great vehicle. New to the 2020 RX 350 is pre-collision alert with pedestrian detection in low light and daytime bicycle alert, as well with the automatic high beam, active cruise control and lane tracing assist. So new for 2020, uh, Lexus changed the grill. So compared to 2019, it's a big grill change. As you can see, the design is new, it's bold, it's fresh for all of the premium, luxury and executive packages. And then as well with the F-Sport packages are gonna have a different grill and trim levels. So the Lexus pre-collision alert all comes from inside the grill. It has radar sensing the cars in front of it to know when it is approaching so that it's gonna give you an alert if you get too close to a vehicle and automatically stop if you forget to activate your brakes, say if you're distracted on your cell phone or anything like that. Lexus is gonna keep you protected from rear-ending somebody with their radar, active cruise control and pre-collision alert combination. So the next new feature of the new Lexus RX is the fact that it does Android Auto Play and it's touchscreen. So you can just go along and press what you need to press without using the main key map key mouse. Plug in your Android. Android Autoplay. Boom. And Google Maps comes right up. Now if you're an Apple user, Apple CarPlay also comes up as well as it's touchscreen now. So instead of before you only had to use the mouse, they brought the screen closer and now it's touchscreen. So coming to the backs of the RX, you'll notice at the top we have the shark fin antenna for satellite and normal radio as well as all Lexuses come standard with a backup camera right here. So as soon as you put it into reverse, backup camera comes up on the display screen. Lexus also includes a dealer option of a tow hook that will go right here for the towing package. It doesn't come standard, but it is an add-on feature you can get at your dealership. The RX now has updated rear styling lights. Now, when you go and open it, there's a button in the center. Unlike last year, it opens up about three seconds faster. As you can see, just going to the moon. All RXs come standard with power doors, so you don't have to worry about gas shocks opening it up. Now once it's open, it does have a privacy cover here, as well as a cargo net. The cargo net you can easily take down and package back up like that. Now all the RXs come installed with all weather rubber mats, but we also include carpet mats inside for the summertime. The rear seats also fold down. On the side here, there's two switches. Once you pull them, both the back seats are gonna fold forward nice and easy for you and allow for any extra cargo room if you have skis, snowboards, or any hockey equipment. Now, interesting thing is Lexus includes a roadside first aid kit right here in case you get into any emergency situations, as well as a rear carpet mat. There's also an extra room here for a little bit of extra storage and your spare tire is right there. So the 2020 RX350 carries over the same 3.5 liter V6 engine with 295 horsepower. It gets about 12.2 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and about nine liters per 100 kilometers for the highway. Now for the interior of the RX, starting in the back seats, they come standard with heated seats so that your passengers can be comfortable, as well with two USB 2.1 amp charging ports here and another control to move the seats forward here on the side. It has two seating positions for the back so they can be as comfortable as possible, farther back and farther up. The center comes down for an armrest with extra storage in the center and two extra cup holders for your rear passengers. So moving into the driver's front, you have your seat control buttons right here for your memory settings, three different settings for up to three different drivers, as well as your mirror adjustment buttons for your left and your right. And you can have your mirrors fold in manually or leave it on the automatic settings so that when you lock your vehicle, they automatically fold in your power window controls, your door locks, and your safety lock button. Now down here, there's some extra storage as well as a cup holder near the front for any water bottles that you have while driving. 
Now moving into the driver's seat here, you have your automatic high beam button, your tailgate button, and your heated steering wheel, as well as an extra storage unit for any loose change you might have. Now for your automatic high beams, you're just gonna engage this button and move your high beams into the high beam position like you normally would. And now you just leave it in that position. You don't need to touch it. Heated steering wheel right there. And as well as hold your trunk button for two seconds in order for that to open up or close whatever position it's in. Now moving in is your OBD trip monitor and your cluster dimming and brightness. You can either dim it or turn the brightness back up. Now automatic tail lights are gonna be right here. You're gonna move that into position so that your nighttime running lights are automatically gonna come on. So starting on the steering wheel on the very left, you have your volume controls, your skip to the next song, your mode between FM, AM and satellite radio your talk to Lexus voice command button, as well as talking on the phone and hanging up on the phone. Moving on the right side of your steering wheel, you have all your cluster controls in there. You can go into all your settings or kind of choose what information display that you want to see. Just below that is going to be your lane tracing assist button and your active cruise control proximity button. Uh, below the steering wheel is how you activate your active cruise control. Now moving over into the center console, you're going to have two charging ports and your aux cord. So if you want to plug into the Apple CarPlay and the Android Auto, you have to plug in through here. You do have two charging ports at the front here, but those are only charging. They don't hook into the computer to use the Apple CarPlay. This is your wiper control. It is also automatic rain sensing. So once it senses it starts raining, it will automatically start wiping. If it, if it detects more rain, it wipes faster. Moving down is your remote start push button down here. Your touchscreen infotainment display here. Lexus Classic Clock. Moving into your radio controls and your CD, as well as dual climate air conditioning. Now, you have an extra phone holder right here for, you, for a spot to hold your phone securely. Nice thing I like about Lexus is once you move the vehicle into drive, the parking brake automatically disengages. And once you move back into park, it automatically engages the parking brake. So you never need to actually touch the parking brake button. As well as an auto hold feature so that when you come to a light, you can also take your foot off the brake and your vehicle will rest there in drive. Uh, right here is the mouse pad for controlling the infotainment screen with menu, home, and back buttons. Two cup holders moving into your vehicle mode selecting. So you have normal mode, eco mode, and sport mode, depending on how you want to drive, as well as your differential lock if you get stuck in any snow, and your track control button right here. Now moving up to the top here, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with three different garage settings. So you can have three different garage door openers set on your mirror here and only no longer need clunky garage door openers here. Now right here is your sunroof control to the power moonroof and your SOS button, as well as your automatic door lights for when you get in and out of a vehicle. So that's pretty much it for the Lexus 2020 RX 350. All right, guys, so that's my review on the new 2020 Lexus RX 350. If you liked what I had to share, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow, as well as drop a like and comment about what your favorite part was. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Lexus Downtown for hosting us, giving us a vehicle to work with, as well as the space. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for more.